You so you don't need to take that thing in your pocket, you pull a cell phone, on the year 23, they want you to be the cell phone. That's called transhumanism. You're going to be the cell phone. You're going to be hacked, they're going to log you into the cloud, and you're going to be a cell phone, and that's how they're going to control you. You make Elon Musk, and everybody says he's a genius, and everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink, and they want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. And that's the direction that we're heading in right now. We're heading into the beast system, right? Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, call all you. Wakabala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushar, Bashim, Arachakurash. The help on us today, all the apostles and bishops, the great Muslim that rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations. To the four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, I've been meaning to, uh, you know, make a little response to this uh, presentation by uh, Priest Danyala, you know, premiering their movie, The Karagma. And it's quite interesting that they'll make a whole uh, dramatization, you know, dealing with the karagma. But yet, when they <laughs> try to go into breaking it down, all of a sudden, you know, we're not going to tell you what exactly it is. But we're going to say that these different things involving the system will just tell you that you know that's that and that's uh a very lackadaisical take you know especially given the fact that you know we had we're responsible you know for what we know um when you care for the sheep <laughs> you're supposed to let the sheep know uh this is what it is, and uh, this is what you need to do to avoid it. You know, you're in danger. Unless, you know, you're a hireling and care not for the sheep. You know, why else would you be doing this? All right, now the Lord, he knows if you know what the truth is, and he will hold you accountable. Let me get uh, Proverbs 24. Proverbs 24 and 11, it says, If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, then um, the, 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 the mark, the karagma, that is definitely a matter of life and death. If you accept it, then uh, you're going to die the second death. Anybody that's uh, drawn to take it, they're in danger of the second death. So if you've if, if you forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain, if thou sayest, behold, we knew it not, do if not he that pondereth the heart consider it, and he that keepeth thy soul, do if not he know it, and shall not he render to every man according to his works. So like I said, the Lord will hold you accountable because you did know and here it is priest Danyala. he's telling you i'm not going to tell you it's so cool. that's how they're going to control you right so um the name of the film is called karagma it's about the mark of the beast and as he said we're not telling people what the mark of the beast is but understand we're living in a beast system right and by the time 20 how many i don't know if any of you guys watched my sabbath class but about two weeks ago I did a class on the beast system. By 2030, they want you to literally be the technology. That thing in your pocket, you call a cell phone, by the year 2030, they want you to be the cell phone. That's called transhumanism. You're going to be the cell phone. You're going to be hacked. They're going to log you into the cloud, and you're going to be a cell phone, and that's how they're going to control you. You make Elon Musk, and everybody says he's a genius, and everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink, and they want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. And that's the direction that we're heading in. And you're not being direct. 
you're kind of, you know, tiptoeing around it. Like, okay, you're saying that them trying to put uh, chips in you, that's just a part of the system. So uh, what is the image then? Is not the image of the beast the system? Is that, you know, them using this uh, AI technology and, and, and formulating that into some godhead that everybody must accept and bow down to and worship because of the, 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 the miracles that it's able to do? You don't think that that is the image? So if you're saying that the chip is just part of the image, which is the system of the beast or this technocracy, um, a, a, along with, you know, their uh, ideologies, their uh, corrupt, you know, Western uh, values, their democracy or whatever, all that is all part of the image, right? So what is the actual mark then that they're going to have to put on your body, your right hand, your forehead, that... If you don't receive it, you won't be able to buy and sell. What exactly is it? Why are people still have to ask that question even after you, 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 you try to address it? You make a whole film about it, a, dramati a dramatization about it. You do a PowerPoint about it and people still will be left with questions. All right, well, you never answer what is exactly the mark. Oh, we're not saying that it's entirely a, a, a the mark of the beast. We're not saying that it actually is the literal mark of the beast, but it's a part of the system. Huh? You 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 now the hey, the scriptures say what it say. All right. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Anything that come of, of that is 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 evil. Jeremiah, is it Jeremiah 48, Jeremiah 48 verse 10, it says, Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and curse be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. And that's what you're doing, you know, because if you, you know, tiptoeing and beating around the bush, not being uh, direct, then you're being deceitful, man. Tell it like it is. What is it? Is Great Millstone right or not? A lot of you dudes, y'all don't, y all, y all, <laughs> you know, y'all y'all, would hate for us to be correct. Because a lot of you, it's a pride thing, man. You know, you would hate that you would have to give credit where credit is due. You know, starting with the elder apostles who were the main ones, you know, pushing it. You know, look up that word deceitfully. The word is uh, Ra'amaya. And it says, remiss, treachery, deceitfully, false guile, idle, slack. Then it says down here, laxness, slackness. You know, you're being real, uh, uh, you know, lackadaisical about it. You know, like, you know, we 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 kinda know it, but uh, you know, it ain't that important to know it, you know, directly. We'll just tell you that uh, <laughs> you know, it's a part of it. Huh? Come on, be be you know, be truthful, man. Laxity, remissness, slackness. <clears throat> let me see real quick. Let me go to a, let me look up that term, laxadaisical. Yeah, let so like your lackadaisical. It says, uh, lacking enthusiasm and determination, carelessly lazy, careless, la lazy, lax. And we're supposed to care for the sheep. So you ain't supposed to treat it in this manner. You 
you know? It's like you it's like he knows, but he there holding back, man. Now he mentioned something in the beginning of the prison, well, in the beginning of the clip, where he said that they're trying to turn you into cell phones. Let me let me run that back. Well, cell phone? On the year 23, they want you to be the cell phone guy. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's some information, you know, to know. Because that's exactly how they're going to um be able to uh, use you, you know, and, and they will be able to track you and monitor you just like a cell phone. You know, they'll be able to uh, uh, have all your information locked in on you like a phone carrying what your, 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 uh, your records, your medical records, um, your financial statements, of course, you know, your, your bank account information, everything would be locked in in that little device. So that means what? That you, <laughs> it's going to be a time where that's going to be required, where you're going to have to allow them to use your body in that way. You know, which is, which if you do so, you're allowing them to be Lord over you. Because we're to what? We're to uh, use our bodies to, to, to glorify the Lord. All right? Our body is the temple, right? But he's trying to turn your body into his usefulness. And I remember um, at one of those uh, WEF meetings, you had the CEO of uh, uh, Nakia where he said that they plan on um, putting people, um, basically, uh, people are going to be using 6G chips. All right, matter of fact, let me see if I can uh, pull that up. This is what he this is what he brought out at one of their summits. Pekka Lundmark. Yep. This was last summer. And this is the headline it's from the Street Journal. It says humans will be implanted with six G chips by twenty thirty, says Nokia CEO. And he mentioned that they're trying to turn us into uh smartphone. Well, this is the CEO of Nokia. And he's he's saying that you you're gonna get implanted with 6G. So you will become like that that smartphone. And every all your information, everything will be detected on the uh the the, the cloud. Because you're going to be connected through the internet of things. That's why they're trying to turn everything smart right now. They want all the cities in these, uh, you know, these urban neighborhoods, you know, all major cities. They're trying to turn everything into 15 minute cities. Creating a, a basically a, a worldwide smart grid. And it all is in sync and in line with their so-called UN agenda, you know, 2030 agenda, where they want to um, take all the world's resources and ration it and control it. They be the head and you be the tail. You will own nothing and you will be happy. So, yeah, man. He's uh, I'm, I'm, let me jump down real quick. It says right here, it says he predicted that 6G, which is now in development. So they're already in development. And it was just only maybe three years ago when they just started putting up those 5G towers. And they did that while we were on lockdown. It was so the crown one nine or the, the COV 
that was so that was supposed to be so bad that people were supposed to be uh, locked locked down. But while we was all locked down, they was out there setting up and installing those five G towers. We remember that. Now six G is already in development. You see how they do things, just like when 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 they was administering those uh, jabs. You know they had already had it um, concocted, and they was first they were sending out uh, trials, and they was trying to pay people. To, to 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 you know take the trials and people wasn't really messing with it they didn't trust it because it they it, it it takes a while to actually make these uh these uh inoculations years but yet they did this real quick and now they talking about oh, yeah we we developing new ones already so when they plan to have those out they probably already been uh, developed. Just waiting for the perfect time, you know, when when enough mass hysteria uh, sets in, and they scare the people again with all this alarmism. Where people will feel intimidated enough to trust these devils again. But anyway, this is what the the, the CEO of Nokia said. He predicted that six G, which is now in development will render cell phones obsolete once it, once it is completed. According to several media sources, Nokia's CEO said this during the World Economic Forum. The statement comes amid Elon Musk's initiative, which aims to implant chips into the human brain in order to create a computer-like visual interface. A, 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 a mechate is currently being utilized to design and perfect the, the, the C-HIP. And they're, this is them boasting of their heart's desire, you know? So, you know, this is, you know, one of their plans. They're basically telling you to your face. These uh, World Economic Forums, they're literally telling you their plans for the near future, boasting of their heart's desire, which is all in wickedness. All right? So you as a prophet, you seeing and hearing these things, we're supposed to not hold back, man. Now you did mention that they're trying to they're gonna to try to do these things, but tell them exactly what it is. So you're saying it's part of this the, the system. So you're saying that it's just part of the image. So what is the actual uh mark that without it you won't be able to buy or sell? And we've asked all these other camps that try to teach that the mark is spiritual. All right, so what does it have to do with buying and selling? What is something spiritual that this devil is going to require you to do for you to be able to physically buy and sell? Make it make sense. Y'all never seem y'all never seem to make it make sense. You can never answer that question. And um, you know, th th this truth, you know, is is really actually simple. It's not uh, that complicated. You you only make it complicated. Let me uh, real quick. Let me get this in the apocrypha. <clears throat> uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse um, twenty-two, and it says, "For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit, holy." One only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, all right, crystal clear. All right, it's not it's not uh concealed. It's not you know it's 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 out in the open. But it's going to be concealed to those who are lost. If our gospel be hid, is hid to them that are lost. All right, so it won't be fully clear to those. Who are not of the elect who don't have that unction all right it says undefiled plain sometimes the truth is just plain man not subject to her loving the thing that it, that is good good quick which cannot be let it ready to do good kind of man steadfast sure free from care having all power overseeing all things and going through all understanding 
pure and most sub subtle spirits. And this is dealing with wisdom, man. Okay. And, and the scriptures also say that his sayings are con uh, constant. That's why when you, every time you hear us talk about this subject, we say it over and over and over. It's, it's one thing, that, and, and, and that's it, and we're direct with it. You can go to any great millstone camp in the, in the world, and they're going to all say the same thing, which the scriptures tell we all must uh, speak the same thing, and that there be no division among us. But, you know, you have Sakari, they'll still uh, do a camp with uh, WF uh, Watchmen for Israel, knowing damn well that they don't teach what, what they teach concerning uh, the MOTB. And that's straight up confusion, man. Somebody can easily roll up on that on, on them while they're teaching together and ask that question. So, you know, we in the last days and um, I keep hearing about the mark of the beast. What is it? So now we, now they got to figure out, you know, all right, which one of us is going to break it down? Who, Which one of us breaking it down the right way? Oh, I'm going to let uh, Watchmen for Israel, I'm going to let them break it down. And they're going to break it down completely different than uh, what you, how you break it down. So you ain't even in real unity. Because in the back of your mind, you know it ain't it ain't true. Oh, it's, it's it's sin, brother. You know, just you know, don't commit sin, don't commit iniquity. That's what the beast is gonna cause you to do. You know, if you don't uh, commit sin, you won't be able to what? So, what about that that uh, the the chip that they're gonna implant in us? Well, it's not the mark, but. You know, I wouldn't take it. Huh? Or if I take it, you know, you can always take it out. So they'll try to give you an out like if, you know, you could repent from it when the prophecy never states such a thing. You dudes better stop playing, man. Because the Lord going to hold all of y'all responsible. So. You know, hey, stop holding back, man. Tell it like it is. All right, we we supposed to rightly divide the word of truth. Because, you know, when you speak like that, it's like you're blowing, uh, uh, you're blowing an uncertain sound, man. If the trumpet give an uncertain sound, how could they, you know, get ready to the battle? So, yeah, that's, that's, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, make my response to that, you know, because it's like they're trying to get closer and closer to it. Now, some of them are starting to, you know, mention about, you know, CBDCs like Nate and them. And they want to go into that aspect of it, but they're still tiptoeing. They're still not telling you, you know, what the actual mark is. But, but you're going to start to see, they're going to start... The, the closer we get to them announcing and making it uh, mandatory to, to take it, that's when you're going to have dudes that are going to all of a sudden, they're going to they're gonna push closer to telling you, oh, that it is what it is. Some of them going to wait till that last minute when it's finally announced that that's what we got to do in order to buy and sell. And that's when these other groups going to be like, yeah, that's, you know, yeah, don't take it. You know, it, 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 it it's the mark. Oh, now it is now that what we've been saying is 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 is, is coming is coming to fruition now. But anyway, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yah Shai, and the Lord Williams is edifying. Until the next lesson, Shalom.